What's going on everybody? My name is Quinlan Tosh and I am a creative portrait photographer located in Missouri. So I shoot a lot of photos with a Canon fisheye and today I want to show you how you can turn a plain simple fisheye photo like this one into a cool breeding gif kind of like this one. So we're going to start off in Adobe's Lightroom Classic and then after that we will hop into Adobe Photoshop to actually bring the gif to life. So let's go ahead and pull up Adobe's Lightroom Classic on my screen and let's jump right into it. Once you've opened Lightroom Classic, you're going to go over to the left-hand side and hit Import. Go ahead and drag in your photo and import that into Lightroom. Before we do anything, you're going to want to go ahead and edit your photo. I applied a pre-made preset. Once you have your edits on there, you're going to go over to the right-hand side and scroll down to Lens Corrections. With the distortion slider, go ahead and slide that back and forth just so you get an idea of how the GIF will look. Move the distortion bar all the way to the left side. You're going to export this file, make sure you save it to desktop, and for the file settings, set it pretty low because you don't want it to take up too much storage. Once that file is exported, go back to the slider and bump it just a hair. You're going to hit export and then export with previous. Hit use unique name so it saves under a different file name. You're going to repeat this step multiple times going back to the distortion bar, bumping it just a little bit, and then exporting with previous. I usually go just about to the halfway mark on the distortion bar, and I got about 16 slides from it. You can go all the way to the right on the distortion bar, but for me, halfway seems to be just right. Once you have all of those exported, you're going to go to your desktop and put them into a folder. I always select the folder and right click and make sure that they are all sorted by name. After this, I'm going to pull up Photoshop. At the top, hit File and then go to Scripts and then hit Load Files into Stack. You're going to pull up this screen where you're going to hit Browse. Pull up your folder with all of your images in there and select all of them and hit Open. Make sure that both the options at the bottom of the screen are off. It's then going to load in all of your photos into the Photoshop layer panel. Mine wasn't pulled up for some reason. Once you have the layer panel pulled up, make sure you organize all of your photos by number. I'm just dragging each one up until it's in order of 1, 2, 3, and so on. Once that part is done, you're going to select all the images and hit Command-C, Command-V. This will copy and paste all of those layers. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. What you're going to want to do is now put them in order from highest number to the least number. You want the two fisheye photos to meet in the middle. So move your highest number to the top of the screen and then count backwards. So your highest number photo at the top, mine's 16, and then count down until it hits zero. The two zeros will hit in the middle and then it should count back up to 16. After that, you're gonna go back up to the top in the windows section and hit timeline. Select the first layer and hit create frame animation. Go to the right hand side of the timeline and hit those three lines. You're then going to select make frames from layers. This is going to load in all of your photos into the timeline. You can go ahead and hit play and watch your GIF already come to life. If you want to slow it down, select every single layer of the timeline. Hit the drop down button where it says zero seconds and you can mess around with that to change the speed. This is the 0.1 option, it just slows it down quite a bit. I personally wanted my GIF at the no delay option, so I just reselected those and changed it back. But feel free to mess around with those. I'm going to go ahead and hit play one more time to make sure that I like how it looks. Once I'm satisfied with the speed, I'm going to go up to the top and hit file, export, save for web legacy. Save for web legacy is for optimizing low resolution images. Once that screen finally loads up, you're going to use the minus sign at the bottom left hand side to zoom out. For the settings, make sure at the top it says GIF, Adaptive, Diffusion, and the colors are 256. I always change my image size because I don't want it to take up too much storage. 683 pixels by 1024 is a perfect choice. After that, you're going to hit Save. Don't forget to rename your GIF so you know where to find it. Keep all the settings at the bottom, the default settings. Once that saves to your desktop, go ahead and right click on it and hit open with and then hit Safari. Once that opens up, it's going to show you exactly how your GIF looks on the web. Definitely a super fun little trick to make your fisheye photos stand out just a little bit more. And here is the side by side comparison. And that's how I turned this plain simple fisheye photo into this cool breathing GIF. I hope that you guys found this video informational and if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Also be sure to update or download Photoshop so you can try this out for yourself today. Bye guys.